In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create an animated map in R. You may have watched a previous video of mine in which I mapped the mainland US states and then pulled them in according to the results of the 2024 election. What I'm going to do is expand on that and create an animated map that shows you the election results across several decades worth of elections. We need several packages to do this. We need ggplot2, which we can actually draw our map. We need maps to get some of the map data we need. We've got an Excel data set I need to read in with election results. And then we're going to need ggAnimate. It's going to create our animation logic. It's going to allow us to save our animation as a GIF file. And then Tidyverse, it's going to be used to combine some data sets. So you'll need to install them if you haven't already done so and you'll need to pull these out your library so first of all we need our election data so i've made that for you and it's in a link below the video in the video description just click on that and then if you look at our election data you can see 2024 there's the region which is our state and then the party that they voted for and we've got that data from 1976 1980 84 all the way up to 2024 so that's the data that we want to fill in our states based on. Well, we need to be able to draw the states and you need to use the map data function and say state and that will give us our state information. So we have a look at that. So longitude and latitude, Alabama, let's move on to Arizona, etc. So this information allows us to draw the state lines. Now we need to combine these two spreadsheets. So I'm just going to do a left join using tidyverse and the elect data and the state data and i'm joining them by region so they both have region relating to the state i'm also just getting rid of any lines where they don't have a longitude or longitude and latitude essentially so it's going to clean that data set up a little bit as well so i'm going to apply home data set and then you don't need to worry about that and then one combined one is just a little bit smaller so i've just taken out a few lines of data but there's no longitude and latitude now i've got a plot make a map if you see my previous video this is exactly the same so my data is com one so that data set there my aesthetic here i've got longitude and latitude and it fills the region so this is going to draw my states and we leave group as group and then my polygons are going to be filled according to the party. So who they voted for. So if you look at my combined data set, it's party, Republican, or Democrat. And I'm going to fill the states according to the color coding I wish to use. So I'm going to fill it based on the discrete values. So that we're the, we've got Democrat and Republican. And I'm going to do it dark blue for Democrat and red for Republican. And the next bit is just really cleaning stuff up now. So really, I can create the map with just that, but I'm just going to get rid of all the axis labels, all the ticks on it and so on for X and Y axes. Panel background, I'm going to do a light blue background. And then the grids that are on the background, I'm going to do them light blue as well. So it's going to give us a nice blue flat color on the background. I'm also going to get rid of the legend title. The legend title doesn't really need to be there. It's just going to say dark blue democrat republican is red we don't need it to have a title for that it's pretty self-explanatory and this is just the aspect ratio and leave it as 1.3 to get a nice map and we're going to save that as map one so we're going to paste an object called map one we're not going to look at that map yet we want to add to it so the first step we need to do is the transition how are we going to transition it how's the map going to change over time so we've got our map one we've made and I'm going to add to it transition states. And this is going to be based on year. So this is the year in the data set. So it's going to show different years. And then we've got the transition length. How long is it going to take for the transition across years to occur? And then how long is it going to stay in its fixed state? So how long are you going to see each year for before it changes? And these act as a ratio to each other so you can play around with these if you like i'm going to do a one to five ratio there and then the how it's going to do this transition i've put it as linear 
So it's not going to sort of speed up, start slow and speed up and so on. It's just a nice smooth transition. And I've got my title as well. This is a really nice um, simple thing that you can do. We put on our title, it's going to be US election results. And we're going to have a subtitle, which is year. And then here, we're going to write closest underscore state. And what essentially this is going to do, it's going to be a subtitle of year. So we'll say the actual year it's shown on the screen, for example, we'll say the year is 2024. So it's going to show the appropriate year and the label as well. So the reader will be able to look at your image and they'll see it. And as it changes, they'll know what year they're looking at. So that's a really useful feature. So we set that up. And then finally, we are going to animate. So I've called this object with the transition on it, Animap. So we've got Animap, frames per second is going to be 10 and animate. So the animate function is going to take that and create an animation of it. So we'll run that. So we'll create Animap. And then what I've called Final Map. This will take a little bit of time to run. You're processing a lot of data here. And you can see eventually it starts rendering it. I did pause the video for a little bit because it does take a little while. But let me see, we've got a rendering and it's got an estimated countdown. And then it's done. If you want to look at that map, we can look at that. Now viewer, it's going to take a little time to appear there as well. There we go. There's our animated map. So you can see the years. And the change so it's quite an effective way of communicating something so we've got our map then again we can mess around with these ratios you if you wanted to stick on something for much longer to talk through you can you can change the state length for a lot longer to make it as a ratio much larger but you can play around with that yourself finally got if here but if you do save as it's not going to let you do it so finally, we want to save it and we can use image right in the magic package and it's final map, what I've just created there, and that's my path for it and it's a GIF. So if you run that, it takes a little bit of time, but then we can see, we can go to our file and there it is, our US elections, we'll zoom in on that and there's our working GIF file. And that's how you can make an animated map. There's lots of different options when it comes to animation speed. It's worth just playing around with these things yourself. But as you can see, it's a relatively straightforward thing to be able to produce these animated maps. It can be quite effective ways of communicating information.